Hi guys, Barb here from barbstamps.com and I'd like to welcome you to today's video where I will be showing you 30 greeting cards that use products from the Sweet Soiree Suite from the Occasions Catalog 2018. Here is the first two pages of this suite. This is page 10 and 11 of the Occasions Catalog. And you can see this is mostly, you know, all the gorgeous creations that Stampin' Up! has done with these products. And then we've got some a uh, little you can make it section here showing you what they need to make these couple projects and some more and then we turn the page and that's where you actually see all the products that are available in the suite so we have the cake soiree stamp set here we have the sweet cake framelits and we're going to go over all of those we've got the sweet soiree decorative masks that uh, work along with the new colors of embossing paste the shimmery white and the silver the sweet soiree embellishment kit which is really fun the Berry Burst uh, 3 8 inch metallic edge ribbon, gorgeous by the way, the Silver Baker's Twine, the Sweet Soiree Specialty Designer Series Paper, the Scattered Sequins Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder, the Silver Mini Gable Boxes, the Ready Shreddy, and a Cardstock Pack. So as you can see, I have the stamp set out here, the Designer Series Paper, the ribbon, the dies, and we're going to go through those. Here is one of the gorgeous silver gable boxes that I have just decorated with some of the designer series paper, some of the gorgeous ribbon, and then I do have some of the ready shreddy inside that, which comes in three colors, the berry burst, the silver, and the white. We also have the sweet soiree decorative masks. This one is designed more for the cake, where you've got these... Um, ways to decorate the cake and I've got a couple cards that will show you that. We've got this gorgeous flower here, little polka dots for the cake, some candles, and then it also comes with this really cool kind of background um, mask that um, I do have on some cards. So here are a couple of the masks. I've got them in action here. This is the one that uses the um, shimmery embossing paste and I don't know if the camera's picking that up but it's got some really pretty gold um, flecks of glitter in it. Here it is on a piece of Berry Burst, same thing, but it doesn't seem to have so much green. Did I say gold in this lesson? It's got green flakes of glitter. I don't know what I said. Sometimes the brain just does not work very well. And then here is the flower done with the silver embossing paste, really cool. And here it is done on black. Here's the embellishment kit, and this thing is full of so many fun little treats. It's just incredible. It's got, ooh, it's got this amazing velvet scalloped edge marina mist ribbon, really pretty. We've got a little package of white clothes pins, some tassels with the really fun detailed silver edges on them in the Calypso Coral White and Marina Mist. A uh, little tiny washi tape. This has got some silver foil accents on it. And then it comes with a bunch of sheets of pre-cut, you know, die cuts. So we've got some vellum pieces here. Here's some more vellum pieces. Really pretty. And then some just, you know, white die cuts that are stamped. And the foil accents on these things are super cool. More vellum. More die cuts. And then we also have a set of numbers that you could use to decorate these cakes with, which is really fun. And I showed you the gorgeous Berry Burst Ribbon, amazing. Uh, the stamp set here that's designed to go with the dies. And you may be wondering what these little pieces are for. They're like cake picks, you know, like you would stamp your happy birthday. Um, it would be like a little cake pick that would be in the top of the cake. So that's kind of cool. You could always just, you know, mask that off. <clears throat> Uh, with a piece of scotch tape and you wouldn't be stamping with that so that's pretty cool um we do have you know the leaves the small little flowers the cake you can color the cake that you can use ink with just a lot of fun we've got the designer series paper here that has the gorgeous amazing silver accents can you see the shine of that i think you can while i'm wiggling that around just gorgeous look at these papers oh my gosh so all these six sides have the silver accents on them. If you flip it over, then we have no silver accents. We just have nice, soft patterns. These couple I thought would be, actually these three could be great for your baby cards, an any day card, uh, just some fun patterns here in the Calypso Coral. And then we have the die set. Yay, die set. Now I um, sometimes will use a little magnet sheet when I'm displaying mine for my customers, so I've got them all on this die sheet. And something new uh, to our uh, die sets recently is doubles, which I think is amazing and it's brilliant by Stampin' Up. Normally when you need a leaf, you don't need one, you need two leaves. So we've got a couple of the leaf dies in here. 
So when you need a leaf, you can get two leaves. Yay, that's amazing. This leaf also, different style of leaf, but again, a double. So you've got the two leaves, this style here. We've got some double flowers. So here they are die cut. And then if I reach my arm in, sorry. I have a couple of them that I embossed in silver and covered with Wink of Stella and cropped out. So that was really cool to be able to do two at a time. We also have this smaller flower. Oh, and I should show. Sorry, I wasn't showing you the coordinating images. So we've got this little stamped flower that will work with this double die set here. Of course, you've got this leaf that I showed you. This is the first one that I showed you here. Here's that little flower that I just showed you in Boston the Silver. And here is another image, an open image of that same style of flower that you can uh, crop out with the die here. And then we've got a single a large flower. Whoops, excuse me. A single large flower. And that one is, uh, there's two of them, the open flower and the solid flower that can be cropped out with this die here. Pretty cool. We've got the plain cake die, uh, which can be done like this. Here it is stamped and colored, so that makes a really cool looking cake. I just used some white embossing powder and then some markers. And of course the stamp set has two images, the solid image and then the detailed one that I just used on that uh, piece. And then we've got the cake plate, which look at the amazing detail of this cake plate, you guys. Look at all those amazing little die cuts that come out right out of there. It's amazing. I use my precision base plate when I do die cut this. We've got this really fun tag piece that crops out a tag such as this with that amazing detailed edge, which is very cool. Also a little um, hole that it punches out for you to actually tie it onto something. We've got this really cute, delicate bow. This little guy here, which is super cute. Bow. And then we've got this nice detailed flower. That one there, which is really interesting. I really love how it's just so detailed. It's just like a rose. We've got the cake stand. Get my cake back in here. You can use your cake stand so you can make a little triple thing here. So you can have your cake, your cake plate and then your cake stand. So you could do these in different colors. Um, just a lot of fun with that cake stand. And then our final die, it looks like this. And this is done, this makes your sets of leaves and some stems, and I've got those here. So look at the detail on that. I really like that one where the little holes are cut out of the leaf. I think that's really cool. Okay, and there's your stems and your leaves. So the die set is amazing. You get a lot of really cool dies and the doubles just makes the set even more valuable. All right, time to get into the cards. First up, we have this gorgeous card that uses some of the designer series paper as a background and then it's got a little strip of, or a little layer of silver behind that. The silver die cut from the oval framelits and then the oval from the stitched shapes framelits. And then the ribbon that was used on this card is one of our woven ribbons. It's called the Powder Pink Finely Woven Ribbon, and that's on a few cards. So this matches, um, coordinates really well with this uh, designer series paper. So I thought that one was super pretty. Another one using some more of that amazing designer series paper with those silver accents. You can see that's so pretty. In the background here, you might be able to barely see those little pieces of silver glimmer paper uh, with those leaf dies, the last thing I showed you, the silver embossing, and then the woven ribbon again. This one has some of that really amazing striped olive paper with the silver accents, and then a stitched circle back here behind the present. So the present was just inked up, stamped in Versamark, oh no, it's not Versamark, sorry, it's just basic gray. And then they colored it in with some markers and then this adorable little uh, berry burst bow, isn't that just pretty? And here's that stamp that I was talking about where it has like the little cake pick in it, pretty cool. More of the designer series paper, you can see how well this paper coordinates with this suite, it's just amazing. We've got the strip of the olive printed here, a little circle here, we've got a little circle of vellum behind there just for some more added interest. Some of our silver metallic thread, find it here. Mine is just about gone. It comes on a spool like this and it's uh, really full when you get it, but I've used a lot of it and it just makes a great little accent to the back. And then our little greeting here, you can see that was just kind of cut off with the banner so you don't have the pick on that one. 
Here's one that I did, and this one I do have a video for. I'll link it up in the top there. A little bit of a stepped up card again with the present. I did emboss this one in silver, so yay silver. Some silver foil sheet with those little uh, leaf sprigs. Uh, the greeting here and then that amazing gorgeous ribbon and just that paper i just can't get over how gorgeous that is with all those silver foil accents this one is very cool you can see this cake here it was actually snipped out of the designer series paper so you can use the paper for your focal points also which i thought was really cool and then you've got a back piece of the paper here some more of the paper here and this little folder is the softly falling folder out of the big catalog half doily there's that cute cake stand and some more of that amazing ribbon bow and then some rhinestones. Again, the cake, but this time it was just cropped out with one of our stitched circle framelits. So that's another cool way you can use that. Super, super simple card. I love fast and simple cards. Paper, strip of marina mist, and then the cropped out um, cake. This one here, same thing. The cake was just cut out from the designer series paper. That tiny little happy birthday green, which I think is from Teeny Tiny Wishes. A stitched circle and check out this um, acetate on the bottom here this is our fa ugh, fabulous foil acetate sheets so this side of this foil is silver so here's a different pattern but this is the silver side of the pattern you flip it over you have the gold side of the pattern so very functional acetate sheets we've got this scallop pattern uh, this pattern here and then the polka dots with the gold on one side and the silver on the other so the fabulous foil acetate sheets are pretty dang cool Ooh, and then we've got that shimmer blushing bride ribbon back there isn't that amazing just like the shimmer ribbons that you can get free for celebration right now through march 31st i should say next card some more of the designer series paper another cake just cropped out of the paper a simple happy birthday greeting and this is some of our new organza ribbon and if you've been following me for a while you know that i love to dye ribbon i love to color it and this ribbon is amazing to dye so you will love 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 to color this ribbon with either our stamp and blends markers or some ink refills and it's actually called the organza ribbon <laughs> just like i said wow i'm amazing moving along this one again see all these cards have this cake cropped out of the paper i think that is brilliant that just makes the most simple cards some of the great fabulous paper on the bottom and then look at this kind of scrunchy ribbon action going on here that's a pretty simple technique you just lay down a piece of tear tape adhesive and then you just press your ribbon as you're um, pleating it along and this is the silver metallic edged ribbon we do have that also in gold so gorgeous just like the berry burst but uh, white or vanilla and this next uh, card is kind of a twofer because I received this one in the swap and it's got the two flowers cut out. This one actually has some Wink of Stella on it. And then that really cool detailed tag there with the leaf sprigs coming out, some of the fabulous paper. And this is one of our um, new embossing folder sets in the occasions catalog called the Petal Pair Embossing Folders. And this is one of the designs that it will create. There's two folders. I needed a card for my Big Shot at Home class, and my Big Shot at Home class is a class where I just send my um, uh, recipients uh, pieces cropped with the Big Shot, so I don't send them any stamped images. We're not allowed to do that, so I just have, so I had to change this from a stamped image card to a die cut card, so I just created this one. Basically the same, I just did it opposite. Some of the ribbon, the basically same dies, except I did use the detailed flower here, and then the solid flower behind, a bow instead of... Um, a rhinestone and then the same folder so a uh, little bit of inspiration I got there from that swap another one that uses that petal pair embossing folder this is the other pattern so you have the flower pattern and then you have the I'm not even sure what you call that just like a vine pattern maybe so this one is gorgeous on the peekaboo peach cardstock with the cake stamped both images so you would stamp it first with the peekaboo peach then you over stamp it with the early espresso so that's pretty cool it makes a gorgeous cake and then we have our this crinkled seam binding up here so love that one another one with the petal pair embossing folder this time at the top of the card gorgeous designer series paper the berry burst ribbon that kind of separates the two pieces and then the amazing look at that cake that is so pretty what a gorgeous wedding card the silver embossing and then the silver foil sheet bow the silver foil sheet layer and then the stitched shape oval here just gorgeous moving on to this one this one uses our scattered sequins textured embossing folder this is one of those 3d folders that gives you a really a really a great detail so i hope the camera's picking that up because it's really fun uh, the paper the cake a little flower as a cake topper some silver glimmer paper back here some of our new silver baker's twine comes in a roll like this 
and you get plenty so you can have fun creating double triple bows this is one of those triple bows which is kind of fun this one here is another gorgeous card using some more of the paper uh, more of the scattered sequins uh, folder back here hope you can see that a cute little flower arrangement on that tag some silver embossing with the greeting and the little cake pick there and the silver baker's twine and then some rhinestones Another one with that really fun tag. I just love this tag. Look at the gorgeous detail on that with the silver foil sheets. Just amazing. More of the paper. We've got a Calypso Coral um, die cut flower back here and some of that super yummy, gorgeous berry burst metallic edged ribbon. Say that 10 times fast. Next up is a technique-y kind of card using the Eclipse technique with the word here. Another little triple bow up here at the top. These are so cute. A uh, little bit of stamping, the cake, and then the die cut letters from the uh, large letter framelits dies, I believe is what they're called. And they're just popped up on our foam strips to uh, get that really cool eclipse effect. Here is a very striking card on all white. I love this. We've got the little tiny bow up at the top of the cake, colored cake. Here we go with the cake plate and then the cake stand and then just some zigzagged ribbon in the back. I just think that's super, super great birthday card you could use this as an amazing wedding card as well fun fold got a z fold card going on here with the great ribbon the cake stamped twice once with the solid image in powder pink and once with the overlay in um, berry burst and then some flowers the double flower here the solid image over stamped with the detailed line art image and then some more of that amazing if you don't have this berry burst metallic edge ribbon people you need to buy it you can buy it via a link in the bottom of this video in the description box because it's amazing absolutely amazing and while I'm just blabbing here for a second or so if you want to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I upload new videos right here in the corner you'll find a little subscribe button so just click on that and you'll be notified moving on to this card a wonderful card with very vanilla and you'll notice the detail here of this image in the corners that actually comes from our southern serenade stamp set in the occasions catalog this lacy kind of splotchy image right here so there you can see that one in action and then we've got some of our glimmer dots here where you can see they are ombre effect dots so we've got some of those on the card uh, we've got the rich razzleberry and the powder pink another one that's in gorgeous white more of those glimmer um, enamel dots here they're just really cool they have glitter in them i don't know if the camera can pick that up but they are pretty dang cool the silver embossed cake with the silver bow on the top our skinny silver ribbon are running the length of the card here and best wishes so a gorgeous wedding card another card using one of our amazing folders this is the garden trellis folder from the big catalog and this one uses gold which i think is just gorgeous with the silver accent on the ribbon beautiful we've got the whole cake here colored we've got the cake plate the cake stand a little die cut bow and then our greeting up there at the top and then the colored cake just i think that's just gorgeous this one here look at this color combination this is so pretty with the calypso coral and the berry burst i just love it got some of that silver baker's twine tied around a piece of the ribbon the rhinestones up there at the top and then some of that amazing fabulous designer series paper Ooh, i like this one too i love the color combination of the old olive and the pool party gorgeous here's that striped old olive pattern ribbon cake plate cake stand cake embossed in silver embossing and then colored in which possibly could be our stamp and blends markers or do see some um, variation in shading there so that could definitely be that and then the greeting and then the bow at the top this one just uses all the flowers in the bottom corner which i think is a great idea so you could use that for anything it wouldn't have to be a birthday or a wedding it could just be a hey i'm thinking about you it could be anything a baby shower or whatever you wanted it to be gorgeous color combination here the pool party berry burst and the so saffron along with some old olive or that must be pear possessed sorry and then a cute little bow on the side there here's one that uses multiple die cuts um, of that gorgeous flower and then a I just laid those all over um, my background piece here, which was done with the Stylish Stripes. I think that's the name of the folder. If I'm wrong, I'll put it here across the screen because I can't remember. But it's like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just cool. It's just stripes that you could have go you know, vertically or horizontally. I used horizontal here. And then I did some um, embossing here with white on my tag. And then I used a sponge dauber to add some color to the flowers and the uh, leaf sprig here. A little bit of zigzag here with our new lemon lime twist ribbon and i just think that's kind of fun 
Uh, this one here uses the decorative mask. So I actually stamped the cake from the stamp set and then I overlaid, well, I'll just show you. All right, so I stamped the cake, <clears throat> excuse me, in powder pink and then I just laid my folder over the top of it like so. And I used a sponge dauber and berry burst to get that little detail on the cake. I just thought that was cute. Easy, easy card, strip of designer series paper, the ribbon, the bow on top of the cake with the rhinestone, super simple. But I just love the mask, how the mask, mask creates that detail. Another card I created using the mask, and I do have a video for this, I'll link that up there in the top. And I just simply used this uh, flower mask, rotating it around my card using some Marina Mist ink and a sponge dauber. Added some detail on the upper and lower corner, a little piece of the Myths and Magic glimmer paper, stamped my greeting there, and then I added some of our adhesive backed sequins, just for a little bit of interest. So loving, loving, loving the masks. Our last card here uses one of those pieces from the embellishment kit. Remember how I was showing you how the die cut pieces are ready to go? Well, look at that, just popped right on there on that stitch shape circle. A couple of the patterns of the designer series paper, some zigzagging looping done in the background with the silver baker's twine. So very cool. These little die cuts are going to be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I love that. Questions or comments down below in the description box, please. I'm happy to answer them. If you need to do your supplies, I will have links to most of the products that I used in the video, the main products um, in the description box. You can also go to my blog at barbstamps.com and check out my other um, projects. And you can always, always, always shop with me at shoppingwithbarb.com where I do offer free gifts with purchase every month. So check that out on my blog. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day.